What up, Melvin7 here, and I know this is late, but this is the uh, Samuel Eto'o uh, League, Turkish League, SBC. And uh, yeah, I'm only doing this because I do every single squad building challenge. And uh, yeah, I could have done this a few days ago, but I wanted to wait. And I'm glad I did because the Player of the Month Costa was just ridiculously expensive. So yeah, I've just sped up the footage uh, of me getting the packs. Some some of them I literally just did, then opened the packs. Others I did like a group of eight, nine, then opened the packs. But uh, yeah, we actually do get, well, one player that's valued at over 25k, I think. Uh, we don't get any team of the group stages or anything kind of a spoiler, but I suppose you'd guess that because it would probably be in the title if I did. But we do get a decent player further down the line. So whether this one's worth it, for me, I don't think this really cost me anything, especially with the, the players that I got back, the pack value, the uh, other silvers and everything. This one, compared to Gignac, is so cheap, like 100k, I think I spent on this. And I, I admittedly, I'd, I had a few of the players in my club, but not too many, so you could probably get this all done for 130k, and then you get 22 and a half, I think, back, or whatever it is, so it's just over 100k, so... With the packs that you get, obviously the pack value is way more than 100k, but it depends what you get back from that. And as I say, I got a player over 25k, and I'm fairly certain I got a few decent silvers. I mean, the thing is, because I didn't want the video to drag on, a lot of the time I would just store everything in my club, so I'm not entirely sure what I got. But I'm fairly certain I would have got, you know, some Pro League silvers, some League One silvers, the Mexican League silvers, um, the uh, Turkish League. You know, I'm fairly certain I would have got something of value in the silver packs. The gold ones, bar the 25k player, I didn't really get anything that goes for over 2k, I think, uh, unless I got some decent chemistry styles. So, because there's 18 teams, what you're going to get through discards from the packs, at very, very minimum, is 40 to 50,000 coins. So, you really only need to get... 50k of value to make your coins back and of course you get the Eto, which I know a lot of people won't be using but he certainly is better than per bet but I know with the per bet one you got a 100k pack so maybe it was a little little better but Eto as a super sub looks fairly decent he's got similar stats I think it's to actually Diego Costa but um he's also got similar stats to David Villa and of course David Villa costs you 50 60k so the thing I like about these league ones, there's risk involved, of course, but you get packs back and you could get a team of the group stage. You could get a really good team of the group stage and then pff, you're in profit. But of course, you could get shit luck. So the, the minimum you'd be um, wasting on this, sorry, the maximum, if you, you, know, you do it all right, you get absolutely nothing in your packs. You have to discard everything and you do it for 130k. I would say you probably are losing a maximum of 60,000 coins. And uh, yeah, I'm fairly certain I broke even. I don't think I made profit, but I think I broke even. And I'm not sure if the 25k player has been yet. Um, I haven't actually been watching the clips. I, I know they're just in the background. Um, I think these are the last few years. There you go. We got the Eto, as you can see. I'm glad I turned and looked at that and referenced that. But yeah, um, we got nine packs here. And I think I get him in one of these. Um, packs like some of the packs like that one I hate that the rare uh, what is it the rare gold pack where you get one rare mixture of bronzes silvers golds like that one's a really really shit reward I'd prefer a silver pack from that because uh, the chances of you getting someone that goes for a bit in a silver pack are quite great at the minute because of the amount of leagues and marquee matchups and stuff that you might need and uh, yeah at this point I literally backed out of ultimate team purely because my pack look was just shit and i don't think that makes any difference but I, I honestly i'd open some sbc packs before for the the marquee matchups for the player of the month costa and i got absolute shit if you saw that video then uh, i'm sure you'll agree but uh, i think it's coming up soon um i saw the flare was shit there so i just skipped the pack like, there's no point watching who it is if the flare's not good is it this one no it is coming up and it's a fairly decent player who would have won went for a lot more during the Hazard SBC. Um, I think he was like 50, 55k, but now he's around 25, 28k, I think is what I sold him for. There we go. And it is Vincent Company. So yeah, that I was happy with that. Very happy with that. As you can see, roughly about 25, 28k. What do I actually list him for? Um, 
I don't show it on the video, fantastic. But yeah, in terms of the Eto, if you were doing this just for the Eto, then it, it's probably not worth it, but it, you know, it, it's for the packs, in my opinion. That's why I like doing these League ones. Uh, you do have that collectible, untradeable as well, which is always nice, but yeah, as I say, maximum you should lose on this is 60k, and then yeah, you could make profit. So hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video, and yeah, peace.